Good evening to one and all. Good evening. I'm here again outside of Holy Innocence Church and School, Mississippi, at Ashford. I know it's been a while since I came here and do a video. So I'm back this evening. Do another presentation of Holy Innocence Church and School, which is situated around Ashford. Holy Innocence Primary School here. This is where my first two aunts. My great aunts, my great uncles, my great grandparents, well, my grandparents, my grandmother, uh, uh, in fact. But I've been educated. They would have received their primary education here at Holy Innocence. First of all, this was the girls' school first, and then it was later damaged by the Hurricane Janet that. Hurricane Janet that struck Barbados in September of 1955, which damaged the school. Then it was rebuilt modern structure. This is Holy Innocence Church here, uh, which I will get to shortly. So, first of all, this is the school building here. <coughs> with the mural graphic on it which was done by Miss June Connell in 2005 so as I said before my cousin, my first two aunts my great aunt and my great great uncles and so on and my grandmother would have received their primary education here at Holy Innocence most of them under Mr. Lester Vaughan the guy here who is on the painting, reading the book, you can see the school students down below, you can see the monkey in Richmond Hall Gully, you can see the windmill either at Morgan Lewis or either Sturgis Plantation, and you can see the Barbados top band here in the village. So as I said before, most of these murals here are depicting things in St. Thomas. So this is Ashford Long Road. As I said before, this Ashford is spelt A Y S H F O R D. There's another Ashford in St. John, which is spelt A S H, but this one is A Y S H F O R D. Oh, this is Holy Innocence Church here. Another historic church in Barbados. And again, Harrison Skier runs all under here. All under here is Harrison Skier. That is why it is said that when the service is going on at the church, that the organ from the church vibrates into the cave. Or Ashford looking up to Holy to Harrison's Cave and uh, Rich Mahal Gully. Uh, the road here leading you back to Harrison's Cave and uh, Rich Mahal Gully. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah alright. I 
might take a walk. the pedestrian crossing here for the school children first of all before we go any further this pavement was placed here between late 2013 and early 2014 because of it start, first of all it started from here all the way up to Harrison Scale in St. Thomas up here because people were walking too close to the road So that would be late 2013 or early 2014. So this is the church cemetery. They don't bury people in this cemetery anymore. Because it is filled, so they bury they have to bury the people who are on the opposite side of the street. So this is the grave of the beauty jar is good in. And the wife Mildred got in. And the two children, Jeffrey T and Sheila got in. You see that the lawn with you, they did a good cutting, a good mowing though. Anyhow, for the innocent church was built in 1838 and dedicated in. 1839. So only if it is a by grave that the person will get buried in this cemetery. This is the grave of John W. Carrington. He died the 22nd of January 1889 at the age of 53. And the grave of Margaret Williams, wife of John W. Carrington of Richmond Hall. Thomas, who died the 3rd of November 1881 at the age of 67. And the grave of Walter Philip Smith, who died the 16th of June 1918 at the age of 82, and his wife Elizabeth Honey Trotman, who died the 24th of October 1914 at the age of 76. Walter Codrington Carrington Smith, born the 15th of July the 15th of June 1873 and died the 7th of December 1956 from Olivia and Phoebe and also his wife Olive Rose born the 10th of February 1886 and died the 6th of November 1960 so this is, an, this is a beautiful country church here in the center of the island in the parish of St. Thomas This is the vicarage here in which the priest lives, or uh, used to live. The last priest that used to live here was Reverend Light, who was the priest here from 1987 to 2011. The school building here, and this is the bell tower here where the bell is. This bell was rung by the famous section, Collis O'Donnell Daniel, who was the section here for 52 years. He used to be the section at the Holy Innocence Church. He's a distant relative of mine. And it was also rung by my great uncle. It was also rung by my great uncle, Carmen Levine. So I have one great aunt living, remaining. The only one I have left, and she sings in the choir. The bell used to be up in this tower first until they took it down from here in 19, the early 90s, or late 80s, early 90s. To build this porch here. In 
still pay memory of the following families William Green, John and Elizabeth Weeks, William and Martha Daniels, Lenora and Arden Daniels, and the Glasgow family. So, this is how we say the church looks. I might not be able to go and see the church, but you may still see inside the church. It is well kept. My only great aunt I have living that sings in the choir. I also have a cousin that attends church here. I have this family that attends church here. As I said before, only a by grave. Only persons that have by graves could be laid to rest in this cemetery. Other than that, they have to be on the other side of the road. They have to be placed on the other side of the road. The Kier family. The Kier family is a popular family in Welsh Mahal. Some live on this stretch here, throughout the parish, throughout the area. The Kier family on one map. And the grave of Leicester St. Clair Vaughan former principal of Holy Innocent School back in the 1950s and 1960s. He was born on the 9th of November 1910 and died the 16th of September 2003. The churchyard. The Holy Innocent is another rural church in the countryside here in the heart of Barbados. And the boys' school used to be here, which later became the Vickers Club. And there is a little road from here that will lead back to the Club in Welsh Mahal, St. Thomas, in which many people refer to as the line. You see the pavilion here. And up the road here will be leading you back to Harrison Scale and Welsh Mahal, I believe. Thank you guys for watching now. I do have a blessed evening.